Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. Um, I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas break and New Year and are feeling ready for this year even though if you're from the UK like I think 99% of us are in tier 4 still which is a little bit disheartening but hey ho we move Um, it feels really weird to be vlogging <laughs> it's like I don't know what to do so shy Um, anyway I'm one of my resolutions this year is to continue and get better at vlogging and stick to a schedule more so that's what I'm doing I've spent the morning um writing up my goals for the year and getting organized and just kind of getting up to speed. I'm actually feeling so tired today. Like I, yesterday I was like, we're really in the mood to vlog and I was like, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna just start my work now. And then I said to myself, no, take the full two weeks off and start again tomorrow when you're meant to start. And I've woken up today and I literally, like, you know when your eyes are tired, that's how I feel. I feel very distracted and my eyes like just wanna shut. So that's not very fun. Yeah, I'm pushing through. It's a nice chill day. Tomorrow I'm gonna to start creating content again. So today's just literally desk day, writing plans, writing notes and all that jazz. So not much is happening, but I do have a white company order sitting over there, which I have resisted opening until I was vlogging with you guys. So I got a voucher for Christmas and I went on the sale and got some bits and bobs for the house, I think. I can't really remember what I got now. But yeah, I thought I'd go through that with you. And then just kind of see what happens this week. I'm assuming it's gonna be a very quiet vlog, very homey vlog. I did like a huge organization yesterday. I mean like the biggest clear out of my life. I think I have four bags of clothes for charity and like three whole bags, like bin bags full of just rubbish, like just old products and just crap. So I'm feeling cleansed. I need to book, actually I need to write that down. I need to book a rubbish collection. I'm actually doing dry January. <laughs> <laughs> which is so hard. I'm on day four, am I? <gasps> yeah, I'm on day four now. I haven't had a single drop of alcohol, which if you guys know me, like I like a wine at night. It's been a little bit hard, but I wanna just like reset my body. So Christmas period and being in Dubai with my family who are all party animals was a lot of bad food and bad alcohol. So yeah, I'm resetting. Anyway, let's go open this white comfy parcel. Okay, so, oh, this is in here. Oh, I'll show you this actually, it's really cute. I got this from my mum for Christmas. It's a car diffuser from Jermalone, which I think is super cute. It's so tiny and just, let me show you. It looks like this and you just hook it on to like your air vent and then you've got like a center thing. I'm not gonna open it, but it's in here. Like you slip a scent, a scent like block in there and it will scent your car. I've got uh, wood, sage, and sea salt. I actually don't remember what I bought, so this is exciting. Um, okay. I got some diffuser oil. This is the Calm one, like this. I actually have a diffuser up here and have a diffuser downstairs, an electric one, but I've lost the lead for this one, so I need to repurchase a lead. But let me smell this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I just thought for up in my office, this scent would be lovely. So I've got that. Um, I got this body wash, the Noir, Noir scent from The White Company. It is such a good scent. They do candles as well in this fragrance. Um, oh, so nice. It's kind of like masculine, I would say. Yeah, I picked that up. I've actually run out of all my favorite body washes, so I thought it'd be nice to try a new one. And then I got, what's this? Oh. <laughs> This is a soap dish. I don't know, I don't need a soap dish. I don't use soap. I've got soap actually in here, I think. Um, I use hand wash, like gel. But you know when you're on like shop on the shopping and you've got a voucher and there's a sale on and you're just like, oh, a soap dish. I need the soap dish. I always wanted a soap dish. <laughs> so I picked up this little ceramic dish. It actually matches. I have another dish from the White Company that holds my hand wash gel and some other bits in the bathroom, but it matches. So I thought it'd be quite cute. And yeah, I did get a soap. This is the Lime and Bay soap. Mm, it smells good. So it's just got the like imprinted white company thing. So yeah, I thought it'd be really cute in my bathroom. Fun. This is. What? Oh, okay, more bathroom stuff. I got little um like glass dishes. Hold on. Yeah, so I got, where is it, these, well I got this and I got another one, but the other one smashed which is very annoying, so I have to send that back, but I just thought this was really cute for the bathroom. Um, I got this one, and the other one that's broken is like shorter and fatter, um, but yeah, it's really annoying, it's broken, I'm gonna have to email them. 
But yeah, I thought for cotton pads or cotton buds, actually some of this stuff isn't, actually I think a lot of this stuff isn't in the sale, so I will link what I can down below. Um, then I got a diffuser for the bathroom. A very bathroom focused shop here. The spa, is it the spa? Yeah, it's the spa diffuser, which I've never had. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's all packaged together. <laughs> very boring guys, I'm sorry. Um, I got a bath mat, so they're always handy to have. And then I got this little um, dressing gown. This one was in the cell, so I don't know if it will be available still. Um, but it's just a nice long black slinky, kind of like lace trimmed uh, nighty. Like, not nighty, sorry, dressing gown. And I have like a fluffy one, I have two silky ones, but I don't have anything that's like this kind of material. So it was really pretty. So this says £69, but I'm 99% sure it was like £40 in the sale. So that's cute. So I actually cleaned out my bathroom yesterday. Um, got rid of a lot of products. Let me stick this here so you can see. Um, completely detox all of this. All of these now are like only what I need. And I got rid of a lot of stuff. I also did my skincare cupboard. So it's a lot less cluttered. I know it looks like a lot, but obviously in my job, we get sent a lot of products and a lot of things to try. And I do interchange my skincare quite a lot. So I can hear Johnny coming up. Hi! Hi! Hey! Say hi to everyone! You say hi! There's so much stuff on my floor. Yeah, I've decluttered this so much and it feels so good now. Like it's very organized. So I have, um... oh, that's what I was saying. Like I do use everything in here. Obviously not every single day, but these are all the products that I would like reach for depending on what I feel like my skin needs. So I have cleansers, which I'm happy to change around um, often. So these are like my oil cleansers and then my kind of like cream cleansers. So I do this as like number one and then, so oil number one and then cream number two. Um, these are like toners and brightening agents, moisturizers. Again, I kind of change these around just whenever I fancy and whenever I feel like my skin needs. I have some Rodeo, I have some Codely, which actually is a new brand. I had a facial with them, I don't know if you guys remember, before Christmas, um, and it was using these products. I have a few scattered around, and I absolutely love them. I've really got into it. So, some Codely, some Kate Somerville, more Rodeo, Elemis, Aurelia is another favorite of mine. I absolutely love Aurelia. Then I have my face sprays, which I obviously change around as well, quite a lot. Oils, which I'm kind of, I'm not, I don't use too much, but I like to keep a few just in case I feel like I need them. I really, really like this Aurelia one. It's my favorite. It's the Balance and Glow Day Oil, Day Oil even. Um, doesn't leave your skin oily, which is really, really good. I like it for the day. These are like my intensive um, moisturizing treatments, like Elizabeth Arden, have some Aurelia, Bare Minerals, Elizabeth Arden capsules, I love these. I think I've spoke to you guys about them quite a lot, but I have them all here. So I have the vitamin C, I have the advanced ceramide capsules, the hyaluronic acid ones, and the retinol. But steering away from retinol at the minute because I've had a reaction to it a few times. Not these capsules from like a, like a medical brand, like uh, the Zyme one. So I'm kind of not sure how my skin reacts to it at the minute. So steering clear. <laughs> and these are all my serums and my drops, uh, eye creams. And the top, I have just some masks. I have my Rodeo um, Dragon's Blood Mask. This is so good. And then my Aurelia one, which is really, they're both kind of like creams and kind of like overnight masks. They're not masks you have to like actually wash off, which is what I like. My brightening pads and then exfoliating products and spot treatment. This is all hair stuff and their body stuff and then at the top is just some random bits and bobs all my silk scrunchies bit of a tangent here but um <laughs> whatever i have my tan down here my mitts down here face like sheet masks in here um what's the word muslin cloths and things like that this is all my hair stuff and backups i have all my carousel stuff in the shower but it's just good to have all of these as my backups this is all my eye stuff so like my contact solution this is like makeup wipes and extra cotton pads. And then at the top is just extra products and things like that. But without taking a seriously long <laughs> tangent, this is what I was gonna show you. So this is my tray I already had. Um, and it has some neon stuff on it and then a bath oil and a candle. This is my new soap dish. So I think that actually looks really cute. Just very minimal matches, it's very sweet. Um, my diffuser up here and I have a White Company Seychelles Room Spray here as well. And then this I think looks really cute. As I said, the other one's broken, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't actually ever use cotton buds up here. I only use cotton pad, cotton buds downstairs in my dressing room, which is where I do my makeup and stuff. So 
I need these up here for my skincare, but I don't think I need the other pot. I could have put like my silk scrunchies in it though and had it sat here, that would have been cute. And not that it's very interesting, but that is my bath mat, which I did not realize was square. I thought it was gonna be rectangle, but whatever. And also, I guess I'll show you my new slippers. I always had to replace my slippers like every three, four months anyway, because Bean would eat them. But obviously now I've got Puppy. He has absolutely annihilated every single pair of slippers I have. <laughs> so I bought these ones from Jules, actually. It's quite like a country brand, isn't it? I don't know, I remember my teacher is always wearing Jules at school. Um, but they're really, really soft and comfortable. And I just fancy something different from the ones I always have, so. Yeah, anyway, now I'm going to prep for this meeting. I don't know if I said already, but it's with um, Marble Swimwear, so that's very exciting. And, um, yeah, then I'll get some lunch and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hi, guys. So, it is a few days later. I haven't spoke to you in a few days. I think the last time I spoke to you was Monday. And that night, we got announced that we were, like, basically in lockdown again. So, it's been a bit quiet the last few days. Not much has been happening. Not much to talk to you guys about. Um... A few updates though actually, I went to the dentist yesterday and I'm now, I've paid for it and booked in for my Invisalign treatment which I'm super excited about and of course I will take you guys along on that journey with me but just to kind of show you, you maybe noticed, yeah this tooth here uh, really annoys me, it's moved so much and obviously like where I'm filming myself all the time and like staring at a camera, if I look like that way and smile I always think it looks like I'm like missing a tooth almost. I don't know, I'm probably being hypercritical. But um, I've had braces like three times in my life and they keep moving. So this is like my final time to fix them. And then once that's done, I'm gonna get bonding and whitening with Dr. Rona. So I've gone to her, she, her clinic's like 10 minutes from my house, which is really handy. And I went in the other day, had all my scans taken and booked in and paid my deposit. So I start that in about three weeks, I think. And I think it's gonna be she said she thinks it'll be about nine months worth of, Invis of Invisalign. And yeah, I just can't wait to like actually get started because the sooner I start, the sooner it's done. And then I'm gonna get bonding, let me bring you in. So I'm gonna get bonding to kind of like make these all equal, like all one length. Um, obviously these will come down. I hopefully wanna like file these ones down a little bit. And then you can see my bottom teeth are quite, I mean, they're not squint. My teeth by no means at all are bad, but they definitely can be more perfect so that's what I'm doing so by hopefully like September October I'll have really lovely perfect teeth <laughs> um so yeah not much else to talk to you about but on that obviously I will bring you along and show you everything and show you guys the whole process and then yeah not much else I'm gonna go get some air so Johnny and I are gonna take the dogs on a walk I'm all wrapped up it's absolutely freezing today so I have loads of layers on I need to get some gloves and I want to get a quick picture. Actually, I'll show you my outfit. And then I'm going to head off. And then this afternoon, I just need to do a little bit of like office work and things. It's a really, really nice sunny day, but it's freezing. So I have my, where is this from? I think this is a Topshop scarf. Uh, a jacket from New Look. It's just like long, kind of oversized, smart. I have a mango hoodie on underneath. I have Topshop journey jeans and then underneath there I have some leggings on from H&M and then my Doc Martens. This is an old Topshop bag which is cute. It's kind of like that Bottega Benetton style. Actually my sunnies are from Bottega which I think look really cute. So yeah I'm gonna get an outfit pick and get Biggie out for some air because he's going a bit crazy and then I think that's it for today. Lockdown life. <laughs> um, it's such a nice, oh look hold on. It's such a nice afternoon. It's so sunny. Um, we took them to this little park that has like a dog, like a dog park area in it. So Biggie's off the lead for the first time, like out, which is fun. Also, I realised this scarf is actually from All Saints, not Topshop, and I have no recollection of ever buying a scarf from All Saints. So that's a nice discovery this winter. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Enchanting. Anyway, it's absolutely freezing in my pocket. Say hi. Yo, yo, yo. He looks so tiny. Look at this. Going to have to shower them when we get back. 
Very loose. Piggy! What's loose? Boy! Good boy! Hey! Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm back for my walk and I'm gonna go upstairs and work, but I've realized I haven't actually shown you guys my soda stream. So for my Christmas, I drink a lot of sparkling water, like a lot of it. And one of my Christmas presents was a soda stream from Johnny. So hold on. If you don't know what it is, it's like a fizzy water maker, which sounds really boring, but actually it's such a good invention and I've used it so much. So you just fill it up, um, wait a minute. So this bottle just has distilled tap water in it and it just like hooks in here and then you can choose how fizzy you want it. I like it on this one. And honestly, it tastes so good and I don't know why that little process is so satisfying but it really is. Is that you? Yeah. Um, and then just put the lid on. Also, I don't know if I'm going mad, but I swear either carbonating it or I don't know, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's like the silver bits on the bottom and on the top, but it makes the water so cold. It literally feels like refrigerated, it tastes like refrigerated fizzy water. So I'm gonna leave this down below because it is one of the best inventions I've ever discovered. And honestly, cost per use, is that the phrase? It's gonna be about 0.1 P very very soon so yeah really cool also you can get like flavors let me show you um so you can get like flavors to put in it i just got this one to try i'm not sure that i actually really like it that much but it's like a diet coke i don't know what's in it you can look there but i don't think it's that bad is it's like no calories no sugar it's just probably like a sweetener and then i also got this diet tonic one to try when i next have a gin um yeah Really cool invention. I swear one of the best parts of winter is getting in from a cold, cold like walk or day and getting into your companies. Um, so yeah, what was I gonna say to you? Oh yeah, I've got a really funny story to tell you. So <clears throat> earlier this morning, Johnny and I went out and took two pictures, a few pictures um, for Instagram. So we like went on a walk and I took a bag with me and then just changed like halfway through and took another one. And um, then I got back and I had booked like a rubbish collection. So like we, not like the rubbish men, like on a Thursday, it was like a rubbish, like I booked these guys and paid them to come and take away all the excess because we had so much rubbish in the house. <laughs> um, I put the bag for my shoot like in the hall and then I forgot the rubbish men were coming. So when they arrived, oh my God, I forgot you were coming. So I ran upstairs, got all the stuff for them and took it down and put it in the hall. And I was like, just take everything that's there. And they were like, everything in the hall. And I was like, yeah, everything in the hall. <laughs> and then I was getting other bits for them. And then like an hour had passed and I was like, where is my clothes? Like it had like my Stella McCartney handbag. It had like two outfits in it, um, like sunglasses, like Ray-Bans. And I don't know if I've found my cards yet, but I feel like my bank cards are in there. Um, and I was like, where are my bags? And where's, where's my bag? And Johnny was like, like laughing. And I was like, if you're joking with me, like, I'm sorry, I just looked at myself the whole time. I need to look in here. I was like, if you're joking with me, like you have to be serious now, like where is it? Have you put it somewhere? He's like, I literally haven't touched it. And I was like, oh my God, the rubbish man took my bag of clothes. I was shooting. So I like rung them. I couldn't get a hold of them, like rung, 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 rung. And um, I kind of like know the guys there because I've used them like five or six times now. And he finally got back to me and he's like, it's not in it's not in the van. Like, I don't know where it is. Like, we don't have that. Like, I described what it looked like. He's like, I don't have that in the back of the truck. And I was like, I really, really think you do. Like, I'm, I'm like 99% sure it's in the truck. And he's like, Nadia, like, I really don't, we don't have it. Like, I don't know what to do. And I was like, am I going mad? So I was like, Johnny, go and check the house and check that it's not in this house. And it wasn't. And the guy was like, right, I'm gonna call you back. I'm gonna have a proper look. And then he rang me back and he was like, oh my God, I've just found it. It was in this like cardboard box in the back of the truck. He's like, you're so lucky that you rang when you did because if you'd rung 10 minutes later, it was gonna be put in the tip. And I was like, <laughs> like, thank God I didn't have any of like my really expensive stuff in there. But can you imagine if I had like a YSL handbag? Oh my God. And also I was, I had a pair of Gucci loafers, but I had worn them home. So like I didn't have them in the bag, but all the expensive stuff that I had today, I was wearing, thank God, apart from one handbag, but. Yeah, oh my God. And he, anyway, so he was like, I can't come back today because we're too far away from you now, but I will come back tomorrow morning. So that was funny. <laughs> so yeah, that was my eventful period of the day. Um, 
I'm gonna sit down, edit this vlog. I'm writing some, whoa, it's very fizzy. Writing down some content plans um, for the next few weeks. And yeah, I'm excited. I have a delivery actually from me and Em over there, which I'm gonna probably wear tomorrow so I can show you it on. I've worn me and Em for quite a while now. They're one of my absolute favorite brands. They're definitely like a higher end high street. So um, like more luxe than like the normal high street stores, but equally not hugely expensive. Like more kind of like hero pieces I would get from there. This was very kindly gifted from them. Um, you might remember in summer I had a few pieces. I had a skirt and I had like a navy boiler suit. Um, and they had so many gorgeous bits for their winter like um, catalogue. But I saw this jumpsuit and I thought it'd be perfect for like working from home. So it's in this really nice like ecru colour. I'll show you better tomorrow when I'm not using fake light. Um, it's in this really nice, it's denim, but it's not like hugely thick denim, but it's like, it's not a summer denim, but it's not like stiff denim, you know? <laughs> and then it is, looks like this. So it's got a big zip all the way down. It's got a waist belt. It's like turned up on the bottoms, like jeans. Um, and pockets, and yeah, I just thought it was really, really cute. I got it in a size six. I will say, me and Em, I think their sizes run a little bit big. Like, I can get away with a lot of the stuff I get because often I buy things like a jumpsuit where it has a belt and I can, like, really cinch it in. But if they did a size four, I would be a size four in that brand. So if you're in between, I would say go down. And I'll just show you just now what I'm wearing. These need a wash, but these are a little, it's a little Zara uh, loungewear set. So... Tonight's plan, I don't know what it is. I'm going to do some work, tidy up. I didn't think I was a messy person, but I actually really am. Like I'm constantly living in mess. Like there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, it's not too bad, but yeah, I need to tidy that up. And then I don't know what to do. Good morning guys. So it's currently Sunday. As you can probably tell, I am completely tan free <laughs> and I'm not loving it. So I'm going to do a full tan routine and I thought I'd quickly show you um, what I'm currently using. I'm fresh out of the shower <laughs> and I always start off with the Saint Tropez Prep Maintain Moisturiser. This is so key to me for tanning. I put it like inside my elbows, on my elbows um, and then like on my knees, on my hands and just kind of like all the harder places. And then for tan, I'm using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Classic. So it's just like the standard one. I actually only really started using this one recently. I used to use, well I still use, the Express and some of the Purity sprays. A few weeks ago I was like, I'm gonna give this one a shot and I was left with the darkest colour ever. It was so, so good. Like even Johnny was like, oh my god, like your tan is so good. <laughs> so I'm really liking it now. It is quite a long developing one, so you've got to leave it on for like eight hours. The skin's had a really weird breakout. Like these aren't actually spots, they're just like, I don't know if they're like old spots. I don't know, my skin's been so good because I wasn't drinking and then I had a couple glasses of red wine on Friday night and I had one glass of wine last night. I'm not gonna drink till the weekend, but I wonder if that's like affected my skin. And I also get these really weird like blotches every morning. I have no idea what they're from. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna pop this on just as normal with a mitt and then I'll show you how I do my hands and stuff. And I just realised <laughs> that this is gradual tan, so you probably won't even see much of a difference, but I have it all on now. Um, for my hands, I don't use the mitt because I feel like it sticks. Whatever I do, it will stick to my knuckles and it's so annoying. So I take the Purity Vitamins Spray. I just spray it from a distance over my bath, otherwise it'll go everywhere, but I just... And then this one... Okay, and then like rub my palms together and then I'm going to take, I already cleansed my face, I'm going to take the Purity Vitamins Face Serum, so it's from the same range um, and I pop this on my face, I take some of my summer water, it's just from Terry. And then I go over my palms and again use an old towel and thoroughly rub them. And I wash my hands in probably about two or three hours just so that they're not too dark and the rest of my body I'll wash off tonight like before bed. So I'll probably get about 10 hours worth of development. I am going to pop some moisturiser over the top of that serum. I like to go for quite a light moisturiser. This is from Codely. It's from their Res Rattle. I think I'm saying that right lift range. It's the lightweight firming cashmere cream. 
I love this. I have quite a lot of that range of products. They're so good. And that's me basically done. I'm going to take some hair oil in as well. This is from Jisoo. I always use this one or Moroccan oil. Just take a little bit on my hands and run it through the ends of my hair. Just turn into a little get ready with me. You see these blotches? don't understand what they could be. I've tried and tested like, is it this skincare, is it this, is it this, is it the hot water in the shower, Like, but nothing ever seems to be consistent with them coming up. I'm feeling it could be the dog hair, like my dogs, because it definitely happens when I cuddle them. Um, and it's similar to what I get when I have, when I cuddle, like when I touch cats cat hair I'm allergic to so yeah I'm not I'm not sure what it is and this is the robe that I showed you at the start of the video it's really cute um right okay I'm gonna stop nattering so I've just been tidying up but I thought I would show you this little lounge set um from Lorna Lux's new in the star range which drops tonight at 7 p.m so it should be either well It'll be around the time this vlog goes up. But yeah, look how nice this is. And I'm pretty sure it's all made from like recycled fibres or materials or something. Recycled something. So it's more sustainable, which is really nice. And yeah, there's loads of nice pieces. But this is the one I chose. So really big chunky sleeves. And then this kind of like rib detailing. And then the ribbed pockets, which match. Yeah. These are also super, super, super soft. So I'll leave this down below as well. Okay, I am back in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just going to finish off this vlog in a minute. Um because there's not much else to show you. But yeah, what I'm gonna show you is that my little replacement from the white company arrived yesterday. Um, so I'm thinking to put, this is what I normally store my bubbles in. I've had that for years from the white company as well. I actually, I'm pretty sure that they still do this. So if they do, I'll link it down below. But I have so many and actually they don't really fit in here anymore. My quartz, that's cute. It's gonna look cute in here. That's sweet, isn't it? I like it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the side. Yeah, I'm not sure actually, because, can you see? I mean, that definitely fits, stressing me out having that bit off. Um, also, I don't know, I think I quite liked it. I think I prefer it like that, guys. Hmm. Okay, I'll put this somewhere else, but anyway, it's cute. I wanted to show you it. Um, I'll link it down below. So I think I'm going to finish off this vlog here. There's not much else at all. Um, happening. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm going to continue editing this. Also, I was just editing that clip back from this morning when I was tanning. My skin looked so bad. I really, I don't know, I think that could have just been from the wine. I can't believe it. But um, my tan's developing nicely. And yeah, anyway, I'm nattering. So have a really lovely week. I hope you guys are all well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you um in my next video bye